wale wanachukua zile vitu wanaona Range Rover wanachukua hizi lakini mimi mimi nimefanya vitu mingi sana sitaki nikae kama najigamba lakini kwa hiyo list wakienda into details yani kuna watu yani wakanishinda hapa yani naweza hata resign kwa hii kitu niko nayo okay asante okay. nitawawekea <laughs> lakini sasa watatoshea kwa hiyo ni ni kweli si thanks a lot guys for uh, for coming hata kama tuliwapatia tuliwaita jana nimefika on time na hiyo short notice kwa majina naitwa Charles Njagwa Kanyi uh, mimi ni mmoja wale wa wa invite hapa leo na the main reason uh, tuko na two reasons yenye tumewaita hapa siku ya leo ya kwanza mimi kama msanii na release video mpya naitwa Unthinkable tumefanya na lava lava kutoka wasafi TZ na ya pili kama unavyojua before niingie siasa it was in 2017 nilikuwa na record na studio inaitwa Main Switch Studios na after niingia siasa kidogo tukaacha production as in atuko into a serious production lakini sasa hii kama mnaviona hapa leo Thika Road tumefungua Main Switch tena ambayo itaanza tena ku record kama vile tulikuwa tuna record kitamu sasa maswali kwanza congratulations ngoma inatoka leo matayari shabana eh tumetoa audio ngoma inatoka leo video lakini tulitoa audio kama 4 days ago yeah it's been a minute tangu tumuone jago officially ana drop a project eh ni kwamba sasa ndo umerudi kabisa kwenye game ama inakuwa ni barura utakuja alafu potea tena unajua naweza sema mimi ni msanii and that's where i belong kwa hivyo vile nilinyamaza ni kwa sababu naona wakati niliingia siasa being a member of parliament sio rahisi kwa sababu wewe juggle between kufanyia wananchi kazi kwenda bunge na kufanya music at the same time so nikapata sometimes hata kwa sababu unajua kwa msanii unahitaji time unafikiria idea una recorder alafu inaitisha time mingi sana so wakati niliingia mbunge nikaona nimeshikamana sana yani hakuna time nilikuwa napata ya kwenda studio kuwa mu creative na vitu kama hizo so nikaweka kando kidogo lakini sasa naweza sema haikuwa plan yangu ati nimesema nimerudi nakumbuka vizuri the song uh, we are releasing the, today nilifanya kama 7 years ago one day ne, tumekuja kufungua kuangalia studio venye inaendelea and my good friend lava lava was in town akapitia na wakati filo alikuwa anaicheza tu producer wangu alikuwa anaicheza akasema ah hiyo song kali sana yani before hata nitulie kidogo nilipata asha andika na aka record na mimi nikasikia ni ngoma nzuri nikasema eh, good music hakuna haja nizuie itoke kwa hivyo tuka record na tukafanya video na sasa ndio hii inatoka kwa hivyo naweza sema mimi napenda muziki na mahali nimefika hata sasa hivi kaniuliza ni choose between kuwa mwanasiasa kuwa assistant minister me any day to choose music kwa sababu i believe kila kitu niko na among zile vitu nimeweza ku benefit nazo kwa hii kwa hii kwa hii dunia music imenifikisha music ndio imefanya nifike mahali nimefika leo mm-hmm. okay umesema uh, ukiwa mp ungeweza kufanya muziki na pia uendelee na kazi ya bunge mm-hmm. but right now pia uko na cheo kwenye government itakuwaje naweza sema ni tofauti kidogo kwa sababu ukiwa assistant minister unachukua duties kutoka kwa cs na kama unavyojua tumekuwa na tumekuwa na kesi kotini na for now hatujaripot kwa ofisi lakini kulingana na vile najua uh, ukilinganisha CS na member of parliament ziko tofauti sana kwa hivyo najua nitakuwa napata time ya kufanya muziki na time ya kufanya ile kazi president amenipatia mm-hmm. Jago congratulations kwanza for the new music Thank you. na unaenda kutoa na lava lava mm-hmm. eh video ya hiyo music itakuwa Kenya matanzani kukua Kenya huko video mtafanya huko Kenya ama tushafanya video mlifanya Kenya tulifanyia Kenya tulifanyia oh. Kenya yeah. okay i'm maybe going back to main switch of course uh, we've been seeing uh, so many labels coming up and uh, unfortunately who has fanyi vizuri and so many artists wenye wamekuwa under label so wamekuwa hawafanyi vizuri when it comes to income and everything what are you guys planning to do this i think uh, one thing I, i i i've come to realize about the, the music industry is that uh, you find artists wengine kama I, I remember the last time we had an interview I told you ni I'm here I'm, I'm where I am today kwa sababu ya mentorship and I think that is what is lacking in the music industry unapata msanii and I've been talking to even wale wanafanya vizuri sasa hii hana idea ya ku invest yeye anajua tu ni kuimba kuweka pesa kufanya nini na unajua muziki ni ya time kwa sababu hata mimi wakati niacha muziki kidogo uh, ni kwa sababu nilikuwa nimefanya nimefanya nikaona hata uh, nitulie kidogo nisome music kwa sababu inaenda ikichange wasanii wengine wanakuja sauti solo wanakuja mimi nimepata jua kali nimempita yani muziki ni face ni for some time kwa hivyo mimi ile kitu nasema chiti ya kwanza 
hata before to sign msanii ni kuwa mentor kwa sababu lazima wachukue muziki kama biashara lazima ikuwe biashara zaidi yetu kama main switch na kusaidia wasanii lakini unapata sometimes ukiambia msanii leo unamsign and expect umlipie nyumba umchukulie gari umfanyie kila kitu that's unaona hata si Kenya pekee hata nchi za nje unapata kuna kuwa na mvurutano kati ya producer eh, kati ya label na msanii kwa sababu label already may invest a lot of money kwa msanii kwa hivyo ikiambia msanii tunarudisha pesa yetu kwanza msanii anaona hapana ananyanyaswa kwa hivyo kitu ya kwanza ya muhimu sana na nitasema ni kuwasanii wajue muziki ni biashara wewe uko na talent na producer uko na ile kazi yake kwa hivyo kila mtu ana benefit na i think hiyo ndio shida tumekuwa na unapata after some time unapata kuna wasanii mtu anasema nilifanywa na label sikupata pesa yangu vitu kama hizo kwa sababu naye anasahau zile vitu label limemfanyia mm -hmm. okay tukio hapo kwenye wasanii uh, kwa biashara uh, recently i covered a story i uh, am mustafa it's a story that most of us know about it and he insisted that the reason yeye yuko mahali hapo sasa hivi it's because uh, muziki haulipi hapa Maybe you can tell us your thoughts about it and maybe your thoughts about the story. Are you, uh, he's your fellow artist. Have you planned to reach out to him or have you read it out? <laughs> unajua, unajua, Miss June say menini kwa sababu Mustafa ni rafkia mu sana. Sana sana. Na wakati nikuwa naanza muziki, naenda sema nikuwa nataka siku moja nikuwe kama Mustafa. Na... Tukiingilia issue ya Mustafa kwanza ni kumshukuru kwa sababu tunaona ile kitu ilifanya tuseme wakati tu, ile kitu ilifanya ajipata kwa mjengo anasema ni ugonjwa na tunajua sisi wote hata bilionea hata mimi mwenyewe e, ikifika ni ugonjwa hakuna mtu hawezi kawezwa kwa hivyo mimi niseme hivi mimi najua muziki unalipa na kama vile nilianzia nikasema hapa ni vile unachukulia muziki ukichukulia wewe unafanya muziki kwa sababu kuna talent unataka kuenjoy maisha utaenjoy utaenjoy maisha lakini mimi niliingia kwa muziki nika invest nikafanya shughuli zangu nikijua hii si biashara sitakuwa naweza kosa kuwa laki kama mtu kama Kofi Olomide ambaye nilimsikiza nikiwa mtoto mpaka saa hii anaendelea kuwa na bahati ya kuwa kwenye muziki kwa hivyo mimi nasema na nita insist hata leo hata kama ni serikali ifanye nini lazima we mwenyewe kwanza ujipange hata sio muziki pekee hata siasa ukiingia siasa uenjoy au ufanye vitu zako bado tunaonanga kuna wabunge hata sisi tunawachangia pesa unapata mtu ni mgonjwa ama mtu alienjoy maisha yake anakuja bunge anakuambia nilinunulie chakula kwa geti na alikuwa mbunge. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema na mimi na advise wasanii. Biashara yoyote kwa sababu kama ukiangalia kama sasa mimi before nitoke kwa muziki. The least nilikuwa nalipisha ni 500,000. 500 100,000 hakuna kitu uwezi kafanya nayo eh, eh, hii dunia yetu. Lakini unapata mtu anapata 500,000 anataka kununua Mercedes, anataka kufanya hivi. Kwa hivyo ni lazima tujue muziki ni kama zile biashara zingine. Okay, we still look on a chart for We expect maybe the rate can fail in Panda or my company Unajua sijakuwa nikipiga show na na, na na unajua rate card ya mtu inakuja na ile kazi umefanya. Na mi ufanya moja moja na vile nimesema na kama vile umeniuliza saa hii siwezi kashuka kuliko mahali nilikuwa before nianze. Kwa hivyo kama itahitaji nitie bidii zaidi na mimi ninasema sifanyi muziki ya tili niende nifanye show nifanye nini kwa sababu ni kitu napenda na ni kitu naweza taka iendelee na kuinspire wale mavijana wengine na tukirudia story ya 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 ya, ya, ya Mustafa nilisoma hiyo story na ikaniguza na kama vile nimesema ni rafiki yangu apart from ile 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 wa Kenya walichanga sisi na marafiki zetu mimi akina Arthur K akina Big Ted tumeshikana kama group na ninaweza waambia hapa tume raise more than 1 million na tuna plan next week kama Tuesday na tutawaita tutaenda kutembelea Mustafa kwake nyumbani na, na mamake ili tuwe to make sure kwanza anarudi tu, uh, tuone kwanza anarudi kwenye muziki ama anataka kufanya biashara ama na, na zile zingine atasaidia mamake na mtu kama governor Sonko amejitolea kupatia Mustafa kazi kwa hivyo uh, at least ni ndugu yetu tumesimama na yeye na sure ile kitu na anapitia saa hii si tunashikana na yeye to make sure anatoka kwa hiyo shida na narudi kwa muziki na endelee na maisha yake ya kawaida ndio na swali kwa uh, Mustafa amekuwa akiwapa shida kwa muda hivi kwamba nyinyi kama wasanii hamkujua ako na hiyo shida ama mlingoje kwanza ile video ndo mjitokeza kwamba mtamsaidia eh hiyo ni swali ngumu kwa sababu unajua hata mimi kama sasa hivi nilimekaa hapa kuna watu wapendi kuongea juu ya shida zake. Na that's why nimesema nimeshukuru Mustafa kwa sababu yeye alijikakamua kimwanaume na akaendelea. Yeye hakuja kuomba. Hakuja kuomba akakwambia jagwa niko na shida hii. Mimi ni rafiki yangu na hajai niambia kitu kama hiyo. Hata wakati niliona hiyo story nilipigia producer wangu anaitwa Philip nikamuuliza kwa ni rafiki yetu Mustafa ako na issue. Akaniambia tayari anakujanga studio na hajasema. Kwa hivyo naweza kusema kuna watu wasemangi shida zao. 
na ile video ilitokea sisi tulipata kwenye social media kama angekuwa na di ukweli na ni rafiki yangu naweza kamuuliza hajai tupigia simu akaniambia jagua niko na shida hii unisaidie nikakataa na unajua kiukweli watu wengi wanapitia shida watu wengi sana wasanii sio sio Mustafa pekee kuna wale kuna wale wanapitia shida bila msema wasanii na wale waimbaji naombiaje wao wamenyamaza chini ya maji kaa kiongozi naombiaje wale wame kuna wale kama Mustafa ni anapitia shida kama hizo wasanii lakini sasa kutokeza hawezi namwambia unajua nayo tuonge tu kweli kibinadamu kila mtu akona shida zake hata mimi mwenyewe nakaa hapa hata nikiwa assistant mimi sama nikiwa jagua unaweza ona kama niko na kila kitu lakini hata mimi nikipata mtu wako juu yangu naweza kumwambia shida zangu kwa hivyo mimi naweza kumwambia ni vizuri kuongea ile kitu unapitia na ni vizuri tena ukiwa juu uweke marafiki kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine unapata mtu wako juu haongei na mtu unapata watu wanasema wanaanza kukuongea vibaya unaona Mustafa sisi wote tumemwembrace kwa sababu hajai katusi mtu hajai ongea vibaya kwa hivyo ni mtu unaona kama ni shida yako nayo naona unavyojua watu wengi sana walipitia shida wakati ya covid hata mimi mwenyewe ili affect kwa hivyo wasanii wengi waliumia biashara mingi ziliumia kwa hivyo mimi nawaomba kama mtu wako na shida ni vizuri kuongea liko kujifungia kwa nyumba okay jago uh, ya jana au juzi mmeanzia picha fulani kama teaser ya hii video but Kenyans interpreted misinterpreted it pale kwenye picha wakasema kwamba unakula taxpayers money ndio maana unaonyesha kitu kama hivyo what do you have to say about that uh, mi si maringo lakini mi nimekuwa mdosi for the longest time hata before ni kwa mbunge. <laughs> yaani si mara ya kwanza yaani si si same yet najigamba ama kitu kama hiyo lakini maisha kama ile ya video ni vitu nimefanya miaka kama 15 nikiwa kwa industry. Yaani hata nikiacha muziki saa zile niliacha kwanza ni kwa sababu niliona hakuna kitu sijafanya. Kama ni kupiga show nimepiga Kenya mzima. Kama ni Tanzania nimepiga Tanzania mpaka mikoa. Wacha sasa Dar es Salaam, kwenye watu walienda kupiga show huko. Mimi nimefanya mpaka Mwanza, yani nimezunguka kama vile msanii anazunguka Kenya. Kama ni Burundi nimefanya, kama ni US nimefanya. Kwa hivyo naweza sema mimi hakuna mahali tunahusiana na taxpayers money. Na before hata nikuwa mbunge nilikuwa na pesa. Na hiyo si maringo ama ni nini na si tunajigamba. Kwa hivyo maisha yangu hata nikuzuia nilizuia kidogo after nimeingia MP tena wasiseme zaidi nikapunguza kwa hivyo hata kuingia kwa kwa, kwa government ili ni fanya at least nisiweke ku post vitu zingine kwa hivyo nikianza ku post watachoka sana on the same thing just before you answer mheshimiwa tunaona uliweza kutumia chopa ya president tunatamani kujua how did you access it and how is your relationship with the president as well eh kwanza nijibu swali yake kama 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 vile nimesema hapa muziki ni biashara na ile time nilikuwa kwa kwa kwa, kwa game ya music nimesema hapa the least mimi nilikuwa nachukua kwa show ni 500000 na kama ni kama hiyo time mimi nimesema nilichukua muziki kama biashara sikuwa naichukulia kama mchezo mchezo kwa hivyo kama nilikuwa na make one concert na lipo 500 na kila wiki naweza pata kama tano that, that, that tells you kila wiki nilikuwa na make more than 2.5 kwa hivyo vile nilikuwa naweza kuinvest mimi maisha yangu niliweza kujipanga na about eh, eh, chopa ya president niliona watu wameongea sana rais ni rafiki yangu sana 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 and he is very supportive when it comes to the creative industry kwa hivyo mimi kumuomba chopa yake ni kitu kidogo sana kwa zile e, ura, mahali urafiki yetu imefika. Kwa hivyo hakuna siku nitaenda kwa rais nimwambie nataka kitu inanisaidia mahali anikatazwe. Talking of okay, the talking of the presidential support. Okay, let me let me give the inafatana na hiyo. Um talking of the presidential support, tuliona of course you were uh ulikuwa kwa UDA na you were vying for the parliamentary seat. Lakini you can step down for someone else. Na pia ukarudi tena as an independent candidate. Mm. Tunashindwa au kuna pesa ulikuwa umepewa ndio step down na kama ulipewa ilikuwa shilingi ngapi? Mm. Unajua hiyo wakati nilipitia wakati mgumu sana kwa sababu nasikupata time ya kuji express kwa sababu unajua kwa siasa kuna chama. Jimu unajua maneno kama tuseme kama ODM kuna wakati party leader anasema nataka jagwa. Wakati mwingine anasema nataka huyu. Kwa sababu niliingia UDA nyakati za mwisho sana kama four months to to election. Nikapata kwa UDA walikuwa cha tafuta candidate wa kusimama mahali nilikuwa nime nasimama kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa jubilee. Kwa hivyo mimi tulikaa chini ya rais na akanielezea kwa sababu chama iko na 
iko na walikuwa na preferred candidate wa kusimama pale starehe nikasikiza kwa sababu sikuwa sikuwa hiyo time yote walikuwa napanga mikakati yao kwa hivyo hakuna venye ninge defect leo na niseme ni kama sasa useme presidential candidate mwingine aingie UDA na akuwe presidential candidate so what we what we agreed with the president ni mimi nisisimame ni support kwa presidential campaign nizunguke naye kama vile mliona tunazunguka naye lakini sasa nikaona watu wameongea oh ameshindwa amefanya nzani nikashindwa nimeshindwa kwa kiti na mimi mwenyewe sijavai kwa hivyo there was an agreement yenye tulisikizana tukasikizana nisisimame nimsaidie kwa presidential campaign alafu na yeye tukishashinda kiti nikaangalia sasa bigger 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 picture nikaona nimsaidie kwa kwa presidential campaign alafu akishashinda then tusaidiane kazi kutoka hapa right. you've yeah. mentioned that um, the president is very supportive when it comes to creative industry yeah. and recently unfortunately to the matter by court to kwa kikitaktiwa kama digital creator mm-hmm. i think ataka kujua wewe kama uh, creative na pia kama mheshimiwa unaweza mm-hmm. stamina nini about that and will we, will we have uh, maybe an opportunity to go and table maybe our notes yeah, ile kitu naweza sema sitaki niongee sana about kazi ya CS kwa sababu kama unavyojua kesi iko kotini lakini kwanza nataka nimshukuru rais kwa sababu for the first time tumepata arts yenye ni creative yenye ya, ya creative industry yenye mimi nimekuwa for the longest time imeweza kupata nafasi imewekwa kwenye ministry ya youth kitu haijai kuwa for, for the longest time ulikuwa napata ni sports tu unapata ministry ya youth na sports wana wanashughulika sana na wakimbiaji vitu kama hizo unapata sisi watu wa wa, wa, wa comedy hawako musicians hawako actors hawako kwa hivyo kwanza namshukuru kwa sababu ameweka acts kama 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 kwa, kwa ministry ya youth kwa hivyo grievances zetu zote at least tutakuwa na mahali tunaweza kazipeleka na mimi nataka ni kuhakikishia kwamba mimi ni mtu siwezi kasimama hapa nikasema ni, niweke kiburi niseme najua kila kitu na mahali nimefika sahihi nimefika kwa sababu ya kusikiza na vile mmesema critics wanaambua atakuwa analipa tax what I, what i can promise you kwa sababu mimi najua na mimi uomba sana tutapata uh, tuta, nitapata nafasi ya kuhudumia kuhudumia kama CS tutakaa chini na, na, na nyinyi watu wa digital uh, digital uh, digital uh, na wasanii tusikie zile shida wako nazo na tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia kwa sababu hauwezi katatua shida na mimi na believe naamini na naamini kwamba zile shida mko nazo wale watu wanaweza tusaidia na solutions nyinyi bado kwa hivyo mimi naweza wa promise after tumemaliza maneno ya kesi kotini tutakaa chini na nyinyi tukae na wasanii na actors tuone mahali kwa sababu ni ni department mpya tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia mheshimiwa unaweza sema uh, you are in people's hearts because of your good music na ulikuwa unafanya kazi kubwa sana then ikafika muda ukapotea ukaenda politics uh, most of your fans were frustrated kidogo because umewaacha sasa tunaona umerudi kidogo kwa music utafanyaje mpaka urudishe ile imani ya your fans kwamba utakuwa nao tena that's why nimekwambia whatever i have uh, sahi nashukuru kwa sababu ni music imenifikisha hapa na my fans wali support sana hata si Kenya pekee and hata ble, hata kiti yote niko nayo nimepata kwa sababu ya muziki na mimi najua ni ukweli kwa sababu once you join politics unapata your fans from the other maybe the other party wanapata ni kama mnachukiana ama kuna chuki lakini ukiniangalia kwa siasa yangu mimi si ule mwanasiasa wa kusimama ni tusi mwanasiasa mwingine so what i did ni concentrate na sare i did what i what i had to do for the sare people na na nikafika mpaka mahali nilifika nilifikisha hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo mimi naweza kusema kwanza wasiniangalie kama msanii, waangalie kwa ile kazi naleta kwa sababu naamini kuna wasanii wengi sana hata wanatoa nyimbo na azichezi. Lakini kwa natoa wanasikiza kwa sababu ya zile eh, kwa vile nimeandika nyimbo zangu, mawaidha ambazo napeana kwa hivyo na talent yenye nilikuwa nayo. Kwa hivyo naweza sema bado narudi na ile talent. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo sidhani sidhani naweza kaposi mtu asikize nyimbo kama sio nzuri. Kwa hivyo what I'll do ni kumake sure narudisha hiyo relationship na mafans wangu kwa kuwapea good music. Jambo yeah. can you promise us that bado utaenda ku stand for the truth as much as uko kwa government. Tunakumbuka kama kijio ya. Yeah, you speak out your truth. I don't know why I don't know why people choose only the, the politician part kwa hiyo song. Mhm. Yeah. <laughs> no, hata hey. hata unasikia watu wanikiintroduce mtu anakuita, "Eh, kigego ukuja hapa." <laughs> the song in your gauge your social evils yeah. mingi course, sana. Yeah. That there is zile vitu zina happen kwa society. Yeah. Sijui kwa nini watu wanachukua ngani kama the worst people ni politicians. No, but can you promise us that will still speak your That's why I've said that's why I've said the 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 the, the appointment I got. Yeah. I'll sit down na wale wako stakeholders wa hiyo wa hiyo wa the creative industry to jaribu to to saidiane to malize zile shida ziko. I think that's the best I can do kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi nimepewa. Okay, you can from me switch a great kid you give some You know ni funny sana hata 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 it's a funny story kwa sababu I had friends that time 
na nilikuwa nimeanza kutengeneza pesa kidogo unapata rafiki yako rafiki yako rafiki yako kabisa yeye ndiye anaenda kukusengenya kusema vitu vitu mbaya about wewe unapata uh, unapata yule mtu unaamini kabisa hata watu wa familia yao ndio wanakuchongoa zaidi kwanza kuna siku nilienda siku moja nimepata visa ya US nikaenda US alafu nika, nika, nikaita watu nikawa, nikawapikia nikawafanyia nini nikamwambia eh mimi naenda US wasee mimi nime mambo yangu imefunguka kufika Detroit nikadipotiwa tena nikarudishwa hapo the same people wenye nilitia bash ndio walinichekelea zaidi <laughs> unaona kwa hivyo ni song nilikuwa nadhania naandika about shida zangu nikapata ina, ina ya, ni kitu inakata cross kwa kila mtu na watu wakaipenda kwa hivyo that time did you know you will ever become a politician by the way i thank i want to take this opportunity to thank philo my producer na na, na lucas eh? kwa sababu i remember that night nilikuwa nimeenda kenzo the kenzo was shooting his music video and uh, steam i kapotea so watu wakaambua ngojeni kidogo 30 minutes i just started dreaming nikia so juu chini ili nivuke vuta wana nigeu na muamini i had written it lakini siku anadhania it was a good song so immediately nilimba the producer anaitwa Lucas akaniambia umeimba nini so i just i repeated the same songs cuz we were shooting the video at uh, Ogopa Studios aliachana na camera na kila kitu akaniambia let's go record that song mm-hmm. so even mimi mwenyewe siku anajiamini na hiyo song it's only after like one week two weeks producer alinipigia akaniambia sasa whatever you've been looking for umeipata and even shot the video akiniambia nitafute pesa ya video namwambia i missed it because because i had done a lot of videos nikamwambia mimi I'm, told, I'm, i'm not willing to invest more music kwa music videos kwa sababu nilikuwa naona nili kama nimefika mwisho akaniambia tanta kufanyia free so lucas is the one uh, alifanya nijue kigegeu ni ndio sana na ninashukuru wa kwa kenya eh mheshimiwa uh, this is this goes to uh, wasewa eh uh, starehe Uh, there has been a debate online pale Twitter that uh, when you are the MP for Starehe ulikuwa unaonekana what do you think about the person who uh, succeeded you man hata wasi wengine wa mjui jina you know the, you know you know what happened after unajua wakati wakati UDA ilipatiana certificate kwa kwa mtu mwingine watu walikathirika kwa sababu uh, wengi walikathirika na wakavutia the current member of parliament i'm not saying that he is not doing his, uh, his, jo- his work the way he supposed to do and there is no way uwezi kasema ati leadership style ya jagua nayo tena ule mp yuko yuko afuate kwa hivyo mimi nilifanya kazi ya kujitolea kuonekana kwa watu kusikiza mashida kutatua lakini unaweza pata ule mp amechaguliwa hata kama watu wanasema haonekani mimi sijui kama anaonekana kwa sababu sijaenda huko sitaki nichomee mtu picha niseme watu wako na different styles za, za leadership na kama vile unavyojua a member of parliament ako na ofisi maybe the current member of parliament and a delegate of his yake ifanye zile vitu zinatakana Okay. Seems like you still be doing a political duty at the same time being a musician. Are there con- any conflicts between music and politics? Na na sema iko. Na sema iko kwa sababu kwa sababu kama vile nimesema unaona kama sasa mtu akiniona mimi anaona rais rais eh, eh Ruto. Unajua kama tukiangalia zile votes nayo ODM ilipata kuna 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 ni kama half half unasema unaweza pata kama country ko divided kwa hivyo kufanya watu kufanya kuimba nyimbo ambayo kila mtu atapenda kama mimi sasa inakuwa sometimes unaona kuna mtu anasema huyu ni wa UDA huyu mimi sitaki kitu kama hiyo kwa hivyo kama kidogo yewe ina niaffect mimi kwangu kuna kuna shida hapo kidogo so there's a list that was published earlier um, and you came in as the number two in Kenya as the richest uh, musician in the in, in Africa in East Africa in in, in 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 Kenya and then you came in number seven as um, in East Africa and they said you are worth around 7 million USD is that true and if not how much do you think you're worth ile kitu naweza kusema Eh ni kumshukuru Mungu kwa kunifikisha mahali amenifikisha. Nimesema nimesema umesema namba 1 alikuwa nani? Unajua ukiangalia hiyo list mimi nimekuwa kwa industry for more than 15 years. Na unaona harmonize kwa namba what nini lakini mimi naweza swear hapa before nyingi. Kama mtu kama wako there amenishinda na harmonize naweza kaacha muziki leo. Kwa sababu unajua wale wanachukua zile vitu wanaona Range Rover wanachukua hizi lakini mimi mimi nimefanya vitu mingi sana sitaki nikae kama najigamba lakini kwa hiyo list wakienda into details yani kuna watu yani wakanishinda hapa yani naweza hata resign kwa hii kitu niko nayo hata hapa huko
nini? Sorry, sorry. Ni ningependa tu turudi kidogo kwenye muziki kasi yeah. kwa sababu kuna swali kwenye muziki. Na niko na nataka kufahamu kitu kimoja pole. Ah right now hapo awali we used to see wasanii wengi wakitokea main streets they were hitting walikuwa kubwa sana. Sasa hii kuna plans za kuleta wasanii wengine ambao watakuwa wamesainiwa ama wako sasa hivi? Naweza kasema na ni kashki dataongea on behalf of the main switch lakini mimi kwangu vile nimesema kwa sababu nimekuwa kwa industry unaona the problem yenye iko kwa 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 kusainiwa kwa wasanii kama vile nimekwambia unapata wengi hawachukuli muziki kama biashara that's why unapata kuna hizo conflict kwa hivyo ile kitu nimeambia watu wangu eh, wa, wa main switch kwanza ni kumenta wasanii hii ni biashara tunaingia nikitumia 10000 kwa kwa lazima hiyo pesa itarudi Nasa unapata kuna hizo mashida mingi. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema tutachukua wasanii. Kuna wale wako hata Mustafa mwenyewe amefanya nyimbo hapa inaenda kutoka. Kuna wengi sana wamerekodi tuko na kina ambassador. Kuna wasanii wengi sana wako. Lakini kitu ya muhimu sana ni kujua wajue tuko kwenye biashara. Okay, uh, I have a question uh, just a concern about music. So there's one, I think one of the reasons as to why you've been you know making it as an artist is because by uh, it's in line with what you sing. You sing content, you have, you sing about heritage and things that people can relate to. That's one thing that people will always remember you for. Then it was I think it's also one of the reasons that contributed to being voted uh, voted by people into you know being a legislator. Now there's one concern that I have as a general reporter. To some extent, music has contributed to how mannerisms have changed among the youth especially today. To one out wengi, uh, there's so many cases of, you know, um, sexual abuse and drug abuse and substance abuse. As an artist, what would you say about, you know, the, the current music, maybe, I'm sorry to say, quote unquote, mediocrity sells a lot. Mm. Because people sing about, you know, sexualizing people and abuse and all that. You as an artist, what's your take? I don't know what we, uh, what we can do about that, because Babu Valga music have been there for the longest time. Because I remember even when I was coming up, <coughs> and people criticized there. Uh, Criticize it, na bado ika hit. So I think it's something people like. What I can say is that, uh, ukiwa msani kama vile umesema, zile njimbo nikuwa na imba. Mi nikuwa na angalia society. Ile kitu inaeza kuwa kama advice ama kitu ingine. Kwa hivyo naeza kawambia wale wasani ambao wanatunga hizo njimbo. Kwa sababu, they don't last for long. Kwa hivyo kama unataka kuwa remembered kama legend, we ufanya muziki ambao una relate na watu ambao uko, hata mzazi ya naeza kaucheza mbele ya watoto. Kwa sababu, itakuwa na longer life na yu utakuwa na ishi mata ukisimama mahali. Kama sasa unaenda mahali na mba, hundi ula meimba tingija matako. Sasa unaona hata miya ipo. Kwa hivyo, mi naeza kawa advice. Hata kama inahita haraka na inaisha haraka. Kama huu nataka kuwa remembered kama mtu wali make change kwa music industry. Ni vizuri ufanya muziki ambao yu ikona message. And the current gospel industry in Kenya is dead. What's your take? Mi ya 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 I think kuna scandals mingi zilitokea I think kwa, kwa zile kwa music industry I think watu wakaona ni kama inakaa kama kimchezo lakini sidani sifai sidani wa, wa Kenya ama wale wanasikiza gospel music wanafaa wa change kwa sababu ya watu wawili watatu ni kama tu ile story ya Shakahola mimi naweza kusema ukisoma bible ukisoma bible inakoelekeza vile utaishi maisha bila kuumiza mwenzako kwa hivyo watu wengi sema tuachane na 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 na, 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 na neno la Mungu kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja Kwa hivyo mine naomba wa Kenya wale walikuwa nasikiza gospel hati. Kwa sababu kuna wasani wengi sana wa gospel. Wasiache kusikiza gospel music kwa sababu ya watu wa wili. Okay. Okay. Um, so. Mwishimio, mm. mimi naitua mwenye kazungu. Mm. Na umezungumza kusiana na kolabo yako, ambao ni mwimbo wako, umpe ambao natoka leo. Na lava lava ni msani mkubwa sana wa East Africa. Na metoka pia lebo kubwa wa East Africa. Umesama alikuja hapa, kainja studio, mkarekodi. Mm. Lakini kuna mikataba ambayo yuwa inawekwa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Utazungumza vipi kusiana na mkataba wako na lava lava siku wa leo kwa sababu kiangalia kwamba Diamond ni msani ambayo anajua biashara na msani na mziki ni biashara. I think, uh, I think uh, ni ukweli. Uh, that, that's why nimesema ikifika ni maneno ya lebo ni tofauti sana na msani kama mimi ya jai kuwa signed. Kwa sababu mimi si jai kuwa signed kwa maisha yangu yote. Na tumekuwa na tatizo na, na, na shida hata na lava lava kwa sababu Mukisha fanya nyimbo, lazima kwanza ende, aulize, apatue ruhusa, siji kuna nini kuna nini, lakini sasa mimi sijapitia hizo vitu zote kwa sababu nyimbo ni yangu. Kwa hivyo thasa unaona hata tuliongea na ejana, anambia na ngojea management, na ngojea management, mimi kamambia we ngojea management, mimi na song, mimi na songa. Kwa sababu, mimi na understand, kama wali sign kitu, lazima kuwe na mkataba wakuna, na mimi sitaki kuwe involved na iyo. Kwa hivyo, binafsi, hakuna hila yoto mitoa kati yako na wasafi. Mimi hakuna kitu nimeitishwa na 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 lava lava. Mimi nimesema nimekuelezea before alikuja kwa studio hata sio kitu tulikuwa tumeplan. Yeah. Alikuwa amekuja concert kwa club ya Sonko. 
ika tukapata tunakuja kumuonesha studio mahali iko sasa tukicheza cheza nyimbo akaipenda yeye mwenyewe kwanza yeye mwenyewe tangu alianza kuandika kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nisha record kitambo kwa hivyo aliupenda tuka record na sasa nyimbo ni yangu Alright. Yes. Kwa hivyo lava lava yuko kwenye video ama yuko kwenye video. Alright. Yes. He still signed and our staff. Yuko signed na our staff. That's why nakwambia hata before to release hii nyimbo tulikuwa tunangojea kwanza wa malizana na management. Au tunangojea Damon anafanya nini? Kaona inachukua muda sana. That's why nimemwambia wacha mimi nisonge mbele Kenya wewe wewe tuza tutapatana huko mbele. Mhesh. Ah, so maybe for it hapa na mwisho tu. Ah, kizungumzia kuhusu sector burudani hapa Kenya. Ah, uh, kwa nini burudani kuvute kati ya wasani na pia na watu kama MCSK hela zingi kama vile hapa hapa wewe ni kitu gani ambacho unaweza fanya ili hela tianze before kama vile nimesema kwa sababu sijaingia kwa ofisi official lakini nikiingia nimejua kumekuwa na mvutano ukienda Kekobo Uh, wanakuambia MCSK inatumia 70% ya collection ya wanapata kulipa kulipa wafanyakazi kuliko hiyo pesa iende kwa wasanii unasikia the same about risk unasikia zile pesa wanaokota zote uh, kama 70% inaenda kwa kazi za ofisi so sometimes unajiuliza basi hakuna haja tukue na na MCSK kama ile pesa inaokota yote inalipa inalipa wafanyakazi kwa hivyo ni vitu tutaangalia kwa sababu iko under ministry ile mimi nimeingia lazima tukae chini tusikizane pesa ikiokotwa kama ni 20% iende kwa ofisi 70% iende kwa wasanii. Ah, thank you. Wanasema na mzee na swali juu hapo sasa si tuna. Away from you being a politician and a musician, you rarely post your family life on social media. Why? Lakini watoto wako. Kila siku na post watoto wangu. Hatuoni like for example now on Sunday is Mother's Day. Are we expecting to honor Mother's Day? Sunday nitawawekea. Lakini sasa watatoshea kwa hiyo nini kweli? Kweli wengi aje. Eh? Oso Uh, uh, sasa shimesema mm-hmm. ni mara zote sasa kwa post moja hizi katoshea lakini naweza kusema niko happy niko na watoto na wapenda sana kama vile unaona kwa social media ni vile unajua ile kitu naoni mimi kama mwanaume niko niko na mama sisemi sina mama na ninamheshimu sana na hapendi maneno ya social media lakini kitu kingine naweza kusema kwa mwanaume ukiwa na watoto watoto ndio wako kabisa bana kwa hivyo sasa unaona mimi na kwa na watoto wangu lakini mama hapendi maneno ya social media what will you say as mother's day message to your late mom ni, ni, ni kuomba tu yani kila siku niomba kama angekuwa aone mahali nimefika kwa sababu aliniacha nikiwa kijana mdogo sana lakini najua siku moja tutapatana